Hey, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. So today we're going to talk about with winter coming up, you know, your grass is losing uh, nutrients, it's dying out. Um, how do you keep your cow in good condition and how do you know that they're staying in good condition? Y'all stick around to find out. They've been on this spot for a few days. This is their last spot that has any grass left on it. Today is Saturday the 26th, I believe. Ooh, we don't know if we're gonna make it to the first, but with the drought we've had, I'll definitely take, you know, a few days early. Come on. Come on. Little babies. <laughs> Look at the babies. Look at all the little babies. Now we gotta count them all. <gasps> Hello, little babies. Hello. Hello, little babies. This look, this mama should be calving any day. Come on. Well, hello there. Are you coming to see me? I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, come on. Sweet baby. With the changes of seasons also comes the change in forages. They enter a dormancy. So we need to pay close attention to ensure that your cows don't lose body condition. So you might ask, how can you keep a cow from losing condition without overfeeding her? Well, by looking at the manure. Manure scoring is a valuable tool to determine the quality of nutrition the cow has recently consumed and can be used effectively to adjust supplemental feed to prevent loss of body condition. It can tell you the quality of nutrition a cow has had in the past one to three days while the body condition score will tell you the nutritional history of the past several weeks or months. You can compare manure on a one to five basis with one being very fluid and five being extremely dry and segmented. Keep in mind that different parts of the country is obviously different as far as the nutritional value of grass and hay. For instance, our grass and hay here in the south isn't as you know, fertile and nutritional as maybe the grasses and hay up north. A level one manure is kind of like a creamy soup consistency and is an indication of a sick animal or either a high ration that contains excess protein, carbs, and low fiber. You can add some hay to that diet that will actually slow it down and make it a little thicker unless that animal is sick. Um, the level two manure, it makes a decent stack. It's usually less than an inch thick and it lacks a consistent form kind of like cake batter. Excess protein carbs and low fiber is this animal's diet and adding hay can also slow it down a little and allow for more absorption in the intestinal tract. A level 3 manure is ideal and it will typically start to take on a normal form. The consistency will be like thick pancake batter. It'll be deeper than a two but will not stack. A number four manure is thick and starting to become somewhat deeper yet not stacking. The manure will be like peanut butter consistency indicating a lack of protein, excess low quality fiber, and not enough carbs. You'll need to supplement with additional protein. A level 5 is the highest and the least desirable score. It's firm and it stacks over 2 inches high. 
It also has clearly defined segments and is very dry. This indicates the cow is eating a poor quality forage diet that is inadequate for protein and carbs and high and low quality fiber. The rate of passage has slowed down to the point that the excess water has been reabsorbed in the intestines. You will need to consider additional supplements to meet the cow's protein and energy requirements. So as you can see, um, just keeping an eye on the manure can be a great tool to use to keep your cows in good shape. I've always knew that manure played a big part in keeping up with your cow's condition, but I've learned a lot during this video, so I hope that you guys also have been able to learn something, and if there's something I missed or something you could share with me, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, we're moving our cows off their very last spot and giving them some hay, so although they're, you know, I was trying to clean up the pasture and spread that hay as much as possible, I'm not going to you know, give up the quality of my, my cow's condition just for a little money. So you can't starve a profit out of a cow, I've always been told. Uh, so these girls are probably going to be getting some feed in the next few days to help them get regulated. Okay. No. Okay. See, they want the grass. I can care less about the hay. They are protesting the hay. They said, we want more grass. Forget this hay business. <laughs> What's wrong? What is it? I oh, know, I'm not ready for winter either. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm living on crackers and water too. Y'all cost too much. Yeah. See, I told you. Y'all eat better than I do, so. And y'all for sure do, little whiners. Y'all for sure eat better than mama does. What? Little fatties? What do y'all want? I just fed you. Just so you'll know, they actually ate both bales of hay in the one day. So I think they're doing good and they're enjoying their hay. Thanks for watching today. Y'all please like, share, and subscribe. See y'all next time. How fresh is this stuff? Could be any fresh or we still be grazing.